endocrine system is composed of ductless glands which secrete hormones directly into the bloodstream and are formed of masses of epithelial cells arranged as irregular cores, clumps, or follicles covered by a capsule and supported by reticular stroma and separated from each other by fenestrated blood capillaries or sinusoids as pituitary gland, pineal body, suprarenal gland, thyroid, and parathyroid glands. Other endocrine glands have both exocrine and endocrine functions as male gonads, female gonads, placenta, kidney, thymus, liver, and pancreas. There is also clusters of unicellular endocrine cells, APUD cells, forming diffuse endocrine systems present through most of the digestive and respiratory systems and scattered in some endocrine glands. Classic endocrine glands, pituitary gland. It is a small gland found at the base of the skull in a pony cavity called the cella torsica. It is connected with the hypothalamus by the hypophyseal stalk. It consists of two major parts, an epithelial component called the anterior pituitary or adenohypophysis derived from the oral ectoderm and is divided into three parts. The distal lobe pars distalis, which constitutes the major portion the intermediate loop pars intermedia, rudimentary in men, and the tuberal loop pars tuberalis, surrounding the neural stalk. The other part is a nervous component called the posterior pituitary or neurohypophysis, derived from the neural ectoderm and is divided also into three components. The major part is pars nervosa that lies posterior to the pars intermedia and is continuous with the other components, the infundibular stook and the median eminence. Pars distalis is the largest part of the adenohypophysis. It consists of branching cores of epithelial cells suspended in reticular connective tissue and separated by blood sinusoids. The cells are either chromophobes or chromophiles. Chromophobes, about 52% they are small cells with bill cytoplasm containing few granules and they have low affinity for stains. They are considered as undifferentiated or exhausted chromophiles. Some chromophobes, however, may belong to a group of undifferentiated regenerative cells capable of replacing various types of chromophiles. Chromophiles, about 48%, they are granulated, deeply stained cells classified according to staining characteristics and functions into acid fields and basophils. Acid fields are about 37% they are large, round, or ovoid cells medium-sized between chromophobes and basophils. Their cytoplasm contains acidophilic granules. They are classified into 
sumatu troops and memo troops. Sumatu troops or sumatu troops contain in their cytoplasm acidophilic granules which can be stained orange with orange Z. So they are called orangophiles. They secrete growth hormone, somatotropic hormone, SCTH, which is important in controlling body growth and acts primarily on the epiphyseal cartilage. Their hypofunction leads to dwarfism, while their hyperfunction leads to gigantism before puberty as a result of overgrowth of long bones and acromegaly after puberty as a result of overgrowth of certain bones. Mammotropes or mammotrophs contain in their cytoplasm acidophilic granules which could be stained with carmine, so they are called carminophiles. These cells secrete lactogenic hormone, prolactin, leutotropic hormone, which stimulates the mammary gland to secrete milk after delivery. They increase in size and number during the later months of pregnancy and are called pregnancy cells. Busy fields are about 11%. They are large, round, or ovoid cells larger than acid fields, containing coaspecific granules, periodic acid shift positive, and glycoprotein in nature. They can be divided into thyrotropes or thyrotrophs. They are polyhedral cells with central rounded nuclei, they secrete thyroid stimulating hormone, TSH, which controls the normal structure and function of the thyroid gland. Corticotropes or corticotrophs, they are polyhedral with eccentric rounded nuclei. They secrete the adrenocorticotrophic hormone. ACTH, which controls uh, the function of the zona fasciculata and the reticularis of the suprarenal cortex to produce glycocorticoids. Gonadotropes or gonadotrophs, they are usually round in shape, small in size, present in the lateral wings of the adenohypophysis and show scattered basophilic granules. They secrete gonadotropic hormones or gonadotrophic hormones, GH, which are FSH-secreting cells secrete follicle-stimulating hormone, which in females stimulates the growth and maturation of the ovarian follicle. In males, it stimulates spermatogenesis. LH-secreting cells secrete the luteinizing hormone, which in females is essential for ovulation and corpus luteum formation. In males, it is also called ICSH, interstitial cells stimulating hormone, because it stimulates the testicular interstitial cells, cells of Leydig, to secrete testosterone. Castration cells in animals are enlarged, vacuolated gonadotrophs with peripheral flattened nuclei, signet ring appearance, which appear after bilateral removal of the testes. Bars tuberalis. It is an extension of bars distalis surrounding the neural stalk, infundibular stalk. It consists of longitudinally arranged cores of cuboidal epithelial cells, acidophiles, basophiles, 
and undifferentiated cells separated by blood sinusoids, continuous with the cells of the vas distals. They have no distinct known hormonal function. Pars intermedia. It is poorly developed in men. It consists of chromophobe and basophile cells arranged in cords or follicles containing colloidal material. They secrete melanocyte stimulating hormone, MSH, which stimulates tyrosinase enzyme to manufacture melanin, increasing pigmentation of the skin. Neurohypothesis. It is composed of bars nervosa, the infundibular stoke and median eminence. The nervosa is made of the following structures. Pituocytes, they are branched cells of supporting function. They have no secretory function and resemble neuroglial cells. Nerve fibers, they are unmyelinated axons of the nerve cells in the paraventricular and supraoptic neurosecretory nuclei of the hypothalamus. They descend to the nervosa through the pituitary stalk, forming the hypothalamo-hypophyseal tract. HHT containing also neuroglia. Herring bodies, they are acidophilic homogeneous bodies containing dense neurosecretory granules made of hormones stored in the terminal parts of the nerve fibers, blood capillaries then reticular and neuroglial fibers. Function of buzz nervosa. Buzz nervosa produces antidiuretic hormone or vasopressin, ADH, and oxytocin. These hormones are secreted by the supraoptic and paraventricular nuclei of the hypothalamus. They reach the buzz nervosa through the hypothalamo hypophyseal tract, HHG, where they are stored as herring bodies. On need, the hormones are released into the circulation. Antidiuretic hormone, ADH, it is a vasoconstrictor to muscles of arteries thus elevate the blood pressure. Helps absorption of water by renal collecting tubules, producing concentrated urine. Oxytocin induces smooth muscle contraction of uterus, causing contraction of pregnant uterus at labor. Myoepithelial cells of the mammary gland at lactation. Other parts of the posterior pituitary is the infundibulum. It is a thin stalk connecting the bars nervosa with the hypothalamus. It contains the axons of secretory cells of the hypothalamus. Blood supply of the pituitary, hypophyseal portal circulation. The superior, middle, and inferior hypophyseal arteries supply the hypothalamus, the neural stalk, buzz intermedia, and buzz nervosa, forming a common capillary plexus, which supplies arterial blood to the buzz distals, which has no direct arterial branches. Venous blood is drained from the capillary plexus by veins 
the tree branch again to supply the buzz it distills and empty in its sinusoids. These veins are called portal veins and the circulation is called hypothalamo-hypophyseal portal circulation. Finally, venous blood of the pituitary drains into the cavernous sinus by a number of venous channels. Importance of portal circulation. Transport of hormones secreted by the hypothalamic nerve cells to the buzz distals to regulate the secretory activity of its cells, thus stimulate or inhibit parenchymal cells of the adenine hypothesis, which are in turn regulated by hormonal blood levels. Negative feedback mechanism. Releasing hormones, RH, are secreted by hypothalamic neurons for all pituitary hormones secreted from acid fields and fields. Prolactin releasing hormone, PRH, facilitates the release of prolactin. Somatotropin releasing hormone, SRH, facilitates the release of growth hormone, somatotrophic hormone. STH, thyrotropin releasing hormone, TRH, facilitates the release of thyroid stimulating hormone, TSH, corticotropin releasing hormone, CRH, induces the release of adrenocorticotrophic hormone, ACTH, Gonadotropin releasing hormone, GRH, induces the release of gonadotrophic hormones. Follicle stimulating and neutralizing hormones affect both males and females. Inhibitory hormones, IH, for the pituitary hormones secreted from acid fields only. Dopamine inhibits the release of prolactin. Somatostatin inhibits the release of growth hormone. Somatostatin inhibits the release of growth hormone. Pineal body, epiphysis cerebral. It is a small cone-shaped organ found in the posterior extremity of the third ventricle of the brain. It is covered by the pia mater, from which thin septa arise to divide the pineal body into lobules. Its parenchyma is made of pinealocytes are large branched cells with large pale nuclei present in contact with blood capillaries by their long processes, having club-shaped endings. Their cytoplasm is basophilic, containing numerous ribosomes, mitochondria, and well-developed Golgi bodies. Neuroglial cells, they resemble astrocytes with elongated processes and small, darkly stained nuclei. By electron microscope, they contain rough endoplasmic reticulum, mitochondria, and many microfilaments. Brain sand granules, they consist of degenerated cells and deposited minerals, calcium carbonate and magnesium phosphate. They occur in the capsule and the substance of the gland. In humans, they are of unknown significance and increase with age. Function of pineal body. Pinealocytes secrete two types of hormones. Serotonin secreted during the daytime and melatonin secreted 
during the night. Its secretion is inhibited by continuous exposure to elimination. Melatonin may control the development of gonads and the secretion of sex hormones. 